I'm going to do some random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play Siamese Mahjong yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. If you're new to Siamese Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to improve your game, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's get to those random pulls. I have all my tiles out. They've been mixed. We're just going to say I'm the dealer. So I'm going to take 28 random tiles. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. Look at all those cracks. Wow. Two, three, four, eight. Two, four, eight. I'm thinking we should play a two, four, six, eight concealed hand. This could be the six. Let's see what we can do with the rest of the tiles. We have four. Eight, ten tiles to that two, four, six, eight hand. So let's see if there's anything that we can do with the rest of them. Let's put these winds up here. And then the dragons and the flower. This three is probably going to be a good place to start. Maybe we could play a three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. My personal goal when I pick a starting place is to be left with eight discards. So we have three extra here. I'm wondering if there may be a better option. Flowers, two, four, six, eight. Three, six, nine. Maybe the one, three, fives. One, three, five as an option. Three, six, nine. Three, we need the six up here. Three, six, nine in mixed suits. Kong hand, maybe. Three, four, five. Kong hand, three, four, five Kong hand as an option. It's always good to have options. We could also maybe play three, six, nine in cracks, but we need the sixes up here. Try not to pick a category that shares tiles between the two. Let's see, what if we did two, three, four, two, three, four, and then something up here with six, seven, eight, nine. There's seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, maybe two, three, four with opposite dragons. Two, three, four with opposite dragons. And then up here we have nine, seven, nine, eight, nine. What about same just same number of discards? I'm thinking maybe eight eight how about lucky 13 eight five one three 
Okay, that's even worse. But I would hold these for an option. Let's see. Put those down there. Okay, that's a little bit better. So we have nine discards. So lucky 13, eight, five, one, three in mixed suits. That way we could use all the flowers or we could play seven, eight dragon or eight, nine dragons. We wouldn't be able to use all of these for sure, but having those options is not bad. And then here, two, three, four with opposite dragons, that would be under the consecutive run category, the last hand under consecutive run, concealed hand. I think I'd start by discarding these over here. If you would do something different with these, let me know. Just put hand one and then what you would do. This was a bit of a challenge, I think. Let's do another one. This is one reason why this is a great exercise. Pair of flowers, east, west, south white dragons there's a red we have two multiples here one and three one three six i'm thinking a three six nine down on the bottom three six nine three six three six nine we don't really have to pick a hand yet, but there's a three, six, nine potential here. And then for this top option, east and west with flowers, we could do a year hand maybe. 2017. What about even the 2017 pear hand? Flowers, white, red, 172. There's eight tiles towards the big year hand under singles and pairs. It seems like a shame to get rid of all these wins though. East and west. Three six nine three six three six three six nine. That would use all the multiples here anyway. We could play east and west with six flowers, maybe. That would go away. But look at all these discards including three multiples. Three multiples, that's terrible. We could play maybe, I wonder, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's the big year hand right here. Then here we have news. What about news with threes? Pair hand. We don't have any norths, but that's a little better as far as discards here.
Okay, 10 discards. That's a little bit better. News with threes. We're missing norths. And then for the year hand, instead of maybe the pair hand, we could play 2017 using the joker. Same difference. We could maybe still hold these, but this hand would be the third one. No, I'm sorry. It would be the last one, the concealed one under the year category. So maybe even hold on to the all the year tiles. That's, I think, what I would do here. A year hand with options, news with pairs. That would be the first one under singles and pairs. All we need to do to get comfortable with this one is get some norths. And then here we have six discards, including joker bait. We definitely wouldn't be able to use all of them though. So we have more than just four discards with joker bait. We really have more like 10, but that's still not too bad actually. If you would do something different for hand two, write it in the comment section. But I think this is what I would do. A year hand with options, news with threes, joker bait. Okay, let's do one more. Singles with the honors here, winds and dragons. Here's a pair of twos, pair of sixes and sevens. Here's a, a pung of sixes. And then we have eight and nine. Ooh, there's a six. Okay, I do see a lot of three, six, nines. Let's pull all the three, six, nines together <clears throat> and see what we can do. Okay, 369, 369, 6, 3, 6. So 369, there is a hand, the second from the bottom under 369, pairs of three sixes and nines, and then Kongs of the same number in either threes, sixes, or nines. So we may not be able to use this three, but that is a good option. Look at all these tiles here. That's, that's a pretty good start. Okay, so for what's left over, if we could leverage the two and the eight, eight, so a two, four, six, eight hand, let's pull up all the odds and pull in all the evens. Maybe we could do the two, four, six, eight pair hand. I think that's what I would do. Three, six, nine, two, four, six, eight pair hand. Five discards with joker bait. That is a pretty strong plan for these tiles, in my opinion. Probably this two, four, six, eight hand here, because all these sixes would be used up here. So the other option would be to play either like numbers with twos and eights, in which case I might even keep the dragons because we could use the dragons at least with maybe the eights. Probably that red wouldn't work. 
well, we could use the red if we went with the eight dot and the eight bam. So I'd say we're in between two, four, six, eight or like numbers and dragons up here, three, six, nine. So we have three discards with joker bait. For hand three, let me know if you would do something different with these tiles. Okay, let me just think here. Because we do have some, let's just rearrange for six, seven, eight, nine. So that would have been three discards with joker bait. If we do six, seven, eight, nine, this would be the consecutive hand second one down under consecutive run six seven eight nine and then for the other option two four six eight hand concealed oh that's a lot more discards look at that Yeah, that's a lot more discards. I think it was three with a pair of joker bait. Look at all these discards, including joker bait. 10 with discards, 10 discards with joker bait. Let's see here. We could still maybe do a two, four, six, eight. The two, four, six, eight pair hand with joker bait. I still think that other plan was better. Two, four, six, eight. Let's see. I think uh, three, six, nine. I think that other hand, the other uh, option was better. Three six three six six nine two eight four eight. Okay, three six three six. Let's see here. Three six nine with sixes. I think is the way it was three, six, nine in pairs, and then Kongs of sixes. All we need is a three or a six to get set for this particular option. I think this is a better plan. Hand three, if you would do something different, write it in the comment section. If you play Siamese Mahjong and you have a set at home, get it out and give this exercise a try and let me know how it goes for you. I really think it will help Build confidence with decision making at the onset. When you get all these tiles, it can be a little overwhelming, I must say. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up on an insight into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Mahjong random pulls using American style rules, May all your picks be keepers.